Muli ka tani su. Hi, I'm Anupa and I welcome you to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. Let's make Mulikatani soup. Mulikatani soup is a national soup of India. It's made with dal and rice, but very, very flavorful. I'm going to be making it with chicken. So let's quickly run through the ingredients. For this, I need about half a cup of soaked tur dal, which is split pigeon peas, about three tablespoons of short grain rice, which is soaked for about 20 minutes, one onion, which is finely chopped, about 100 grams of boneless chicken cut into pieces, about 3 cups of chicken stock, 2 bay leaves, 1 tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander leaves, salt to taste, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 1 tablespoon oil, 2 teaspoons curry powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 6 to 8 curry leaves, 2 tablespoons of cooked rice, 1 tablespoon fresh lime juice, 8 to 10 black peppercorns, 1 inch ginger, 3 to 4 garlic, 1 fourth cup coconut milk. So let's begin with making of a paste. For this soup, I have to grind curry leaves along with some ginger. Some garlic. Ginger, garlic, curry leaves. Let's add some coriander seeds, some black peppercorns, and some salt. Okay, once we've added all this, we have to grind this to a paste. It's done. So I'm going to be using a pressure cooker since this is faster some oil first. To the oil, we'll add a bay leaf and after the bay leaf, we'll add in onions to this. Just lightly saute the onions. Once we've sauteed the onions, once it goes translucent, let's add in some spices to this. I've got turmeric powder, a little bit of turmeric. Very important ingredient which is known as curry powder. It's readily available in all stores. Just buy a pack of that. This is very important. Without this, you cannot make muligatwani soup. So make sure you always have this in your kitchen. So after the curry powder, we'll add in the paste that we have made, which is ginger, garlic, curry leaves, black pepper, and coriander seeds. All of this. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is a soup made with dal and rice. So we'll add in dal. I have soaked dal with me. I am using split pigeon peas, which is also known as tur dal. Just a little bit of dal. We can't add a lot of dal because this is a soup and it is a little thin. If you have to make just a regular dal and you have to add more, but here I'm going to add less dal and even lesser amount of rice. Rice is a lot of starch and it gives good thickening to the soup. So rice and dal, mix it well. Now to this, let's add some salt. Let's add the chicken pieces. Okay, once you've added the chicken, saute it for a minute and then I'm gonna be adding chicken stock. Now I have chicken stock. I'm using chicken stock because I'm making muligatwani soup with chicken. If you were to make vegetarian, you'll obviously use wet stock or just plain simple water. Whenever you add any stock to any rice or soup, it enhances the flavor, which is why I personally prefer using chicken stock. If you like it, you should also use it. So all of it and now we'll just mix this. Remember we've added all the whole spices to this. We've added salt. All that we need to do now is just close the lid, place the lid and cook this till the dal and the rice is well cooked. Now here the dal and rice has to be cooked to an extent that it gets mashed. And all you need is the, the blend of dal and rice along with pieces of chicken. Also remember one thing that the bay leaf that we have put in, we have to remove it. Since it's a soup, you cannot serve it with the bay leaf. Please keep that in mind. So right now, once you've done all of this, we'll place the lid. And we'll cook this till about four whistles are given out. So this may take anywhere around 10 to 15 minutes. Once the pressure settles down, 
we have to open the pressure cooker. First thing we have to remove the bay leaf. So let's get that out. Then the chicken pieces that we have inside have also cooked. Now I need a gadget like this. You could also use a whisk to do this. Do not use a blender because if you use a blender the chicken will also get mashed. We just have to smoothen out the dal and the rice. Another easy way that I can tell you is to remove the chicken pieces aside and then pass the entire soup through a strainer. So that way it will be even easier. So we can also do that. Just get the chicken pieces out. Okay, so once we've whisked this, let's add the chicken back to this. Now we have to add lemon juice and some more salt. We had added some while we had cooked the dal and the rice. So some more salt here. And I think it's a little thick. For a soup, it needs to be thinned down. So we'll add some water. That's it. Now, how do we prepare this? Or how do we serve this? We need a soup bowl like this. In it, we'll add the garnish. Now the garnish is again some cooked rice. I have some cooked rice with me. Some cooked rice here in the base. Some fresh coriander leaves also. To this we'll add hot, hot soup. Soup is also hot. Just before we switch off the gas, we'll add some coconut milk. That's it. Off and soup is done. Perfect. Moli Gatwani soup is ready. Serve it piping hot. You'll love it. Make it vegetarian or make it non-vegetarian. It's going to taste simply the best.